Ah, tanks. Those magnificent beasts of steel, rolling embodiments of firepower. Today, we're pitting two titans against each other, the Turkish Altay and the Indian Arjun. In the red corner, from Anatolia, we have the Altay, a sleek modern newcomer. Now, cast your eyes to the blue corner. Here we have the Arjun, a veteran in the making. It's been a long road for the Arjun, with decades of development and refinement. Both machines represent the pinnacle of their nation's military might. But enough with the pleasantries, let's get down to brass tacks. This isn't a tea party, it's a tank-to-tank -tank showdown. We'll be dissecting their vital statistics, comparing their firepower and scrutinizing their armor. Buckle up, petrolheads, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Right then, let's talk numbers. The language every gearhead understands. First up, the Alte. This Turkish delight tips the scales at 65 tons. Powering this beast is a 1500 horsepower diesel engine, giving it a top speed of 70 kilometers per hour. Now, onto the Arjun. This Indian warrior clocks in at 68.25 tons. Under the hood, you'll find a 1400 horsepower diesel engine, propelling it to a top speed of 70 kilometers per hour as well. So in a straight drag race, it'd be a close call. But let's be honest, speed isn't everything in the tank world. It's about strategic positioning, firepower, and the ability to take a punch. Think of it like this. You wouldn't judge a wrestler solely on how fast they can run around the ring, would you? Speaking of which, let's move on to the really exciting bits, firepower and armor. Let's be honest, when it comes to tanks, firepower is the name of the game. Fortunately, both the Alte and the Arjun pack a serious punch. The Alte boasts a 120 mm smoothbore cannon capable of firing a variety of rounds. Not to be outdone, the Arjun comes equipped with a 120 mm rifled gun, which improves accuracy. Both tanks also sport a 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun. The Alte goes a step further with a 12.7 mm remote controlled weapon station on the turret roof. So in terms of firepower, it's a bit of a stalemate. Both tanks are capable of delivering a devastating blow. Either way, you're not going to be smiling about it. Now, having a big gun is all well and good, but it's no good if you're as vulnerable as a snail in a salt factory. That's where armor comes in. The Alte features composite armor, a layered cocktail of materials designed to defeat a variety of threats. The Arjun relies on its own indigenously developed Kanchan composite armor. Both tanks also have explosive reactive armor, ERA panels, which detonate outwards to disrupt incoming projectiles. So in terms of protection, both tanks are built to withstand the worst the enemy can throw at them. The question is, which knight has the better armorer? Choosing between the Alte and the Arjun is like choosing between a perfectly grilled steak and a plate of spicy vindaloo. Both are excellent in their own right. It just depends on your taste. The Alte, with its modern design and advanced technology, represents the cutting edge of Turkish military engineering. The Arjun is a testament to Indian perseverance and engineering ingenuity. In a head-to-head -head confrontation, it's difficult to say definitively which tank would come out on top it would likely come down to factors like crew training, tactics, and a healthy dose of luck. But one thing's for sure, both the Alte and the Arjun are formidable machines. As we conclude our tank-tastic comparison, it's important to remember that the battlefield of the future is changing. Drones, cyber warfare, and autonomous weapons systems are becoming increasingly prevalent. However, there's a certain primal satisfaction in having a big, powerful tool at your disposal. And let's face it, nothing says don't mess with me quite like a 60-ton tank. The Alte and the Arjun will continue to be symbols of national pride and military might for years to come. They are a testament to the ingenuity and engineering prowess of their respective nations.